So we open with Heather inviting all the ladies to go tubing. Now tubing is something I'll do because they'll take you back up the hill. You just hook your little tube up to um, the rope and it drags you and the tube up the hill so you ain't got to do all that damn walking. Lisa, we don't want to see you and the kids you don't cook for. Fast forward, best fiends. Meanwhile, across town, Jenny going to dinner with her husband who want another wife. Oh, God. They're still going on about, do you want more kids? Do you really want more kids? Neither one of you want more kids, but you gonna go with this plot line to stay on the show. Child, he like, look, they removed the polygamy law in 2019. It, it is not ununique to Utah. Girl, he is a loser. You ain't that far from the salt flats. I heard digging up salt's pretty easy. I just heard. She asked him a good question. What are you expecting of a sister wife? I, I don't know, sweetheart. He's expecting some young puss and for you to keep raising these children, but he's bored with you. And he's like, you know what? I'm 50, I ain't hit age yet. So before I completely raisin up in the face, let me go on and get some young hot thing. That's what he's trying to do. I know him. Oh, Lord, he said, I got patience. I got one with five wives. So now you putting out your patience business? I'm glad I don't live in Utah, so I don't got to see you. <laughs> she said, we are not Mormon. We are Catholic. Have you talked to the priest about your yearn for new puss? Oh, God, this dry cry. <laughs> I'm trying to be open-minded, but you really need to understand. It hurts. It hurts. The bright lights hurt, dear, because you're not used to them. That's all it is. That's just an eye ache from the cameras being in your face all day as you trying to perpetrate this bullshit. It's a lie headache. That's what it is. Meanwhile, across town, Meredith Marks and her husband are having lunch. Oh, they real bold. They building a house in Utah. Nobody said you was going to make it another two seasons, Meredith. Honestly, you could go after this one, Miss Disengage. However, he just wants a view, but he wants to know, what do I need to weigh in on to be a better husband? Uh, Meredith, I'm with your husband on this one. Your kids is grown. Your kids is grown, 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 grown. They in college, like... You do not need to engage in the minutia. I love, he says, somebody who disengages, you sure up they butt. She gives me a medlity. Later that day with the linebacker, she having a party for her staff's babies, which is really sweet, but we don't care. Oh God, we don't care. So Whitney and her cousin show up. I like her cousin's um, Alexis Carrington outfit. That red plaid, that's real cute. With the gold buttons. I mess with it. That's it. that's high 80s fashion right there. You know, I think she looks more like Leslie Grossman than Sarah Paulson, but I can say Sarah Paulson. Them Jordans on them babies was cute. I can't say they wasn't. Why Jen Shaw come in looking like Maleficent? I just got a Maleficent vibe when she came in. I'd be like, mm-mm, mm-mm, don't give my baby shit. But now Whitney get to spilling the tea, honey. Jen can't sit down quick enough before Whitney can say, oh, girl, I went out with Lisa and she took me to the restaurant and had them people give me a mambi pambi excuse on why they pulled out of your event, dear. So Jen, of course, takes Lisa's side. I mean, she's much more loyal to her than the elderly she defrauded. But Whitney says Lisa don't want nothing to do with you, girl, because she can't stand Whitney or her family. Girl! This heifer, Whitney says, stand up, let me fluff your aura. This heifer fell down drunk. Child, she looking surprised as me and Chris when the branch broke back in the day. Back in the day when things were cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the ladies are heading to tubing, but when is Jen Shaw getting arrested? Girl, this season got me fuck free. How about you? Who has a fuck? Hands. Hands for those with a fuck. Could I borrow a fuck? Let me see if I can order some off Amazon. Oh, Lord, Whitney got another stray she bringing in the group. Connie. I've never met a Connie I've trusted, but I'm hoping one day I get to meet one. 
So Lisa starts to go in on Mary because Mary said carbonated water harbin- hardens your ovaries. And she was like, is that a thing? And I'm sorry, but that's something I'd Google too if I had an ovary. I'd be like, is that real? I know too many ladies who drank pop while they was pregnant and they was just fine. Babies too. Oh, Jesus, Mary gonna say, if I say something, it's facts. Well, then say you're fucking your step-grandfather. Because that's also facts. Mary, I could ride with you if you weren't saying absolute nonsense. But when you say things like carbonated water hardens your ovaries, people are gonna check that fact. Okay? If I got on here and told you the moon was made of green cheese, you'd be like, hold on, let me Google that right quick. Oh, it's not, oh, okay. Oh God, because I'm black? No, not because you're black, because you said carbonated water hardens your ovaries. Ladies of the chat, ladies of the chat, have you ever heard that? Is that a thing? Is that something real? Is that a truth that I'm unaware of because I am ovaryless? I might be missing something here, but um, your blackness didn't have anything to do with that. Anybody in the chat heard that? Anybody? Okay, we've got um, Thandy saying not to her knowledge. Maria says not true. I, I just want to make sure I wasn't missing something. Lose your grip said never in life. I just wanted to make sure, because, you know, I ain't got over you the first, so I ain't going to speak on something I don't know about. Greta said, repeat that. <laughs> Carbonated water hardens your ovaries. That's what Mary said. So I don't think Lisa looking that up, that wasn't racial. That was a what? Carbonated water? I, I ain't never heard that. I've never heard of a hard ovary. So then Mary and Jennifer get in it because Jen's like, look, today ain't the day I ain't the one. Shut the fuck up and let's have some fun. Don't ever use that word with me. Jenny ain't here for it. She's like, if you don't like it, don't listen. I'm glad somebody's finally checking Mary, who isn't charged with a felony. So Jenny is being brave. 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 She said, and don't tell me what to do, and don't tell me what to say. I live my life the way that I choose, so don't put me on display. I'm young, and I love to be young. I'm free, and I love to be free to live my life the way that I want. You get it. She said, you're not my mom. Nobody's trying to be. Jen said, this is a lot of walking. I need help. Where are my assistants? They're turning state's evidence on you as we speak. What the hell? Um, Whitney and Heather dress up as Sasquatch and the abominable snowman and come out and attack Heather and, and Mary. I, I, I don't understand, but I know I'm fuck free. Oh, Lord. Jen Shaw, where did you get this little bracelet? Now, first you threw it in one scene. Now you're trying to pawn Mary with it in another. And Mary said, you can't pawn me with jewelry. I got all the Claire's collection. Oh, no, but Jen Shaw don't put Lisa on her team. And as hard as Lisa's been riding for her, she is pissed. Nobody has her small back. So after we have a little... uh tubing race tits out versus tits in we go to lunch and the losers have to wear mary's wigs aka shitty wigs so lisa and mary hash out they little misunderstanding it wasn't a misunderstanding mary was being snide and uppity because she's always snide and uppity but then again lisa ain't shit so fuck her too but now Whitney's cousin Sarah Paulson pipes up and says, I've tried to reach out, Lisa, and I understand our relationship will never be the same because you're a conniving hussy. I feel like you got hurt over something you misinterpreted, but nothing I did. Girl, the fact that you brought Whitney to that restaurant and had them fools try to clear your name shows what a bully you are. 
Whitney said, now look, Lisa, when you say one thing and do another, it breaks trust. You're not in this. We're clean slate. 2022, we're clean slate. Honey, it's 2021, so your slate is still as dirty as your roots. Jen, why are you in this Ronald McDonald wig? Why are you giving Carrot Top AM mayhem? What, what are you doing with this? Girl, get out of Gabrice's wig trash. Then again, I guess that's what you can afford since the government probably already seized your business accounts at this time. That's why you keep trying to pawn off that little bracelet. I don't need everybody jumping on me. Get off my back. Honey, your husband don't even want to be on your narrow back. Oh, Lord, now your grandpappy was a sissy. <laughs> so it hurts me that someone would accuse me of hurting somebody in the community. But you did it, heifer, and you didn't give a crap about the community. You was being spiteful to that heifer. Girl, you taking it somewhere it wasn't going. This had nothing to do with that. This had everything to do with the fact that you're a petty heifer. Lisa, I, I hate crying. I hate crying. Well, you're good at fake crying because I don't see not near tear. At least Candace's, you know, pointed napkin will have a little dab of moisture at the end of it. You're as dry as Dorit's plot line. Now Jeannie getting in Mary's ass. Yeah, we good, but uh, I grew up picked on, so you ain't gonna tell me what I can and can't say. And I love her Moose Knuckles coat. I almost got one of them. Well, that was the shit. Let's see if Watch What Happens Live with Karen Huger has anything interesting. And then we have Leslie Grossman from American Horror Story. I enjoy her. Karen's wig looks good. Can you send that wig to Gabrice and Gabrice? Honey, I got five on it because I, I just need her to have hair that tosses and bounces rather than is stiff and greasy. I've never seen Gabrice's hair bounce and behave like this wig. I gotta say, it's lost its punch. I love Karen and I love Leslie Grossman, but Andy is just... I, I, it's just not there anymore. It's not interesting anymore. Like... I, I don't know if I need to be on the show or if we just need somebody else, but it, it's boring. I am a few minutes in and I'm just like, I, I ain't got shit to say. The questions have become trite. Karen said the dead butterflies were just sleeping because they had to be kept cryogenically frozen. Half of they was dead, just like Asia O'Harris. You sent dead bugs in your invitation. It don't always work out. Karen said that Nikki tore Giselle's ass up, but um, how is one woman who's with Felon gonna tear up a woman who's simply alone? Now, Gabrice and Gabrissi and her necks may not have much, but she ain't with no molester. She ain't with an assaulter. I'm gonna give her that. I mean, she can't find a man, but at least she ain't turning up with bad ones, getting $20 million lawsuits and whatnot. Leslie Grossman on here promoting this awful season of American Horror Story. I don't even think I'm going to watch the last two episodes because I ain't got a fuck for them. Child, I, I see why they might pull the plug on this one because it, it, it is a yawn. The games aren't even giving me anything. Well, I'm going to see y'all soon for something. I guess my ammo and black ink crap.